All right, we've got another logic game today. During an eight-day theater festival, exactly six plays. So we have G, H, J, L, M, and O will be performed. There will be one performance each day subject to the following constraints. So we should probably lay down. We are going to have eight games. I'm just going to label the first and the last. So the, the play performed on day one must also be performed on day five. So we're going to have one equals five. The play performed on day two must also be performed on day seven. So two is equal to seven. Macbeth and Othello cannot be performed on, on consecutive days. So we cannot have MO and we cannot have OM. For at least one performance of Hapgood, the next play formed must be Macbeth. So we're going to do HM, and I'm just going to subscript it with 1 there. So I'm going to put H1M. And there must be a performance of Jitney at some time before there's any performance of Hapgood. So J has to occur before H, and I'll just put a 1 there to say before the first H. In fact, I'm going to put first there just so I don't confuse it with one. So which of the following could be the order in which the plays are performed from first to last? So each of these answers, well, four of them will probably violate one rule. So let's check our list. So uh, one has to equal five. So we're just going to go through the list and see where one does not equal five. So this is in the case of E. We have loot on day one and day four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, that's my bad. I have miscounted that. It looks like all of them actually follow that first rule. So the play on day two has to be the one on day seven. So A does that, B does that, C does that, D does that, but E does not do that. So we have J and G on J two and seven. Uh, we cannot have M, O, or O, M. So do we see this in any case? Yes, we see that in C. We see MO there. We have to have M after 1H. So in the case of B, this does not happen. And J has to come before the first H. So this does not happen in D. So our solution will be A for 18. Scroll down a bit. Uh, which one of the following must be false? So we can think about each of these by laying out some of our lists. So ghost is performed on day two. This means that G would be here and G would be in seven as well. Uh, we should still really be able to do these other ones. Like we could have J h m put o here and then that would be fine so it doesn't look like a is going to be a problem i could go through b and e right now but because we have a rule for h i'm going to look at c and d first so if hapgood is played on day two that means it also has to be on seven we need to have j before the first h we need to have m after one of these. So I can just put M here. Now if one equals five, J is gonna be there. We can do O, we can do L, we could do L again there. I think that still accounts for everything. So it doesn't look like C is going to be a problem. What about H on day five? So if H is on day five, that means that H also has to be on day one. And this is going to be a problem because now we can't put J before it. So the answer here is going to be D, and B and E should also be plausible. So we can get rid of those markings. If Othello is performed on day three, which of the following must be true? So we're going to put O there. We're going to see what has to happen. Uh, so what we know about O in terms of restrictions is that it can't have M coming before or after. So E cannot be true, because if M is on day seven, that also means M is on day two, and that's going to be an issue. Uh, if loot is on 
day one, but let's just start with ghosts on day two. So if ghosts is on day two, we don't really have too many restrictions happening here. We could have J, this puts J here. We could put H here. Uh, G is actually going to have to be at this point. So I'm thinking that ghosts performed on day two is going to be an issue. Let's just lay this out properly here. So ghost is on day two, which means that ghost is also on day seven. So we need to put H before M. So we're either going to have H M here, or we're going to have H M here. So if H M is in the first slot. So if we do this, this is going to put M here and there's no room for J. So this configuration is not going to work. If we put H M here, this means that H is going to be first and there's no way to put J before it. So it's not going to be possible if ghost is performed on day two to stick H and M beside each other. So A is going to be uh, not which of the following could be true. So A is not gonna work either. Okay, let's consider our next option. H is performed on day two, which means H is gonna be on seven. This is going to force M to be on day eight. Uh, we cannot have M and O beside each other. So what do we need to do at this point? Well, we need to put G, J, and L in this configuration. So we could put J here, which moves J here, and then we could do like L and G in day four and six. It seems like it's totally fine for Hapgood to be performed on day two. So I'm going to stop that reasoning there. And then I'll just assume the other ones don't quite work. But we can always come back to verify it later. So 21, if Hapgood is performed on day two, so we're going to put day two here, which also means it's on day seven, which one of the following could be true? So what we know with this is that J is going to have to occur before H, because according to our rules, we have to have J before the first H. We also need to have M after one of our H's, so either M is going to be on day three or day five, because J is on day one. This is also going to force J into day five. Now, we can't have M and O beside each other. And uh, what are the other restrictions that we're going to have to deal with here? Well, let's take a look at which of the following could be true. Ghost is performed on day one. That cannot occur. Uh, do we have any other restrictions that our rules cover? Othello is performed on day five. That also can't be true. Uh, can we have J on day three? Well, there's going to be six plays that we need to put in. So J on day three is going to cause issues getting all our plays in there. Can loot be performed on day eight? So maybe this is a better way to start. If we put L here, this is going to force M here. That puts O there, and the G has to be covered. So we have G, H, J, L, M, and O all in our list. And I don't see it breaking any of our rules at this point. We seem to have covered J before the first H. 1 is equal to 5, 2 is equal to 7. We don't have O and M beside each other. So I'm going to assume that C is fine because we could make it work. So next question, we'll just get rid of our marks here. Of course, if you're actually doing this on a piece of paper, keep all of your marks on your page. If Macbeth is formed on day two, which of the following must be true? So M being on day two is going to force M on day seven as well. We need to have an M after an H. So this is either going to occur in day one, or day six. If it does occur in day one, we're going to get it in day five as well. Um, but we also know that H can't occur in day one because we need J before it. 
So actually, h on day six is locked. All right, so our conditions for the most part are satisfied. So which of the following must be true? Ghost is performed on day six. Hap good is performed on day three. Jitney is performed on day one. Loot is performed on day eight. Or Othello is performed on day four. I want to do the ones with the rules here. Uh, so I might make a couple extra lines here. So if we'll, we'll test C first. So J is performed on day one. We get J, M, blank, blank. J is going to be on five, uh, then we're going to get H, M, and blank. So J being performed on day one does make it happen before H. Uh, we just have to be able to split up M and O. So O is going to have to go in day four. Uh, and then what do we have to fit in? We have to fit in G and L. We don't have any restrictions, so we could do LG and we could do GL. So we don't know if this is necessary. But we could check some of the other configurations to see what happens. So A, if ghost is performed on day six, well, that can't happen because we need to have H on day six. So it's definitely not A. Uh, what if hap good is on day three? So we know that M has to be on day two. We're going to put H in day three. I'm going to put a line under it to show that that's what I'm manipulating. H, M, and something else. So uh, we need to split up the O again. O is going to have one of two positions. We need to put J before the first H, so that's going to put J first. It's looking like <laughs> J has to be performed on day one, from how I see this. Um, so I don't think Hapgood, Hapgood definitely does not have to be true. Uh, does loot have to be performed on day eight? We know that doesn't have to be true because it could be performed on the third or the eighth and Othello on day four. Let's just check this. So we have JM, one, two, three, four, five, six, Othello on day four. We definitely need H and M here. Uh, we need to put J sometime before H, the first H. Does that mean that we have to force J into the first position? What happens if we don't? What happens if we put J here? Then it still seems like it can work. So we could do something like L on day eight, and then we need to do G, which can be on day one and day five. Okay, so G M J O G H M L all seem to be fine. In B, do we have to force Othello onto day four? What happens if we put Othello in this position on day five? Ah, J is here because of the one five rule. So actually, oh, this is the one. Othello has to be performed on day four. So we can see in all of our solutions that can work out, Othello does have to be on day four. So this was a little error I missed in B, which is you know always good to go back and check your other work, which is why it's good to keep a record of what you've done uh, so that way you can refer to it later. So we have one last question. I'll just get rid of these marks right here. So we can still work with this. Uh, if loot is performed on day seven, which also means day two, and Othello is performed on day eight, which of the following must be true? Okay, we do know that we have to fit an HM in there and we have to put J before it, but that's not gonna do anything so far for us. So let's just play around with a couple of these and see what happens. So let's check ones that seem restricted. I'm going to check uh, B first, because this is going to force J into an early position. So this will be 1, L, uh, J, 5, 6, 
L O. Um, sorry, Hapgood is on day three, so this should not be a J. This should be an H. But this is going to force J into one, force J into five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm missing two. Could be an extra one there. L and O. So is this going to cause any problems? We have one, two, three, four letters. We just need to fit uh, G and M into R's. We can put M here and we could put G here. And this is going to satisfy things. So if we put in C and we force Jitney on day one, basically we're going to get G, L, blank, blank, J, blank, L, O. So this is what's going to be forced in this case. Uh, we do need to fit an HM in there. So HM is going to have to be in these spots, and then G is going to come out. So B and C give us sort of the same thing. Uh, in the case of D and E, I do want to do E first because this is going to seem more restrictive for us. So this will be blank, L, blank, blank. M is going to be on day five, blank, LO. Let's put M in the first position as well. In order to get HM to work in this, we're going to have to put H in this position. J is going to have to be before, and then we get G in the sixth position. So in each of these cases, it looks like G is being forced to be in day six. So I will select that now. I'll lock that in. But for the sake of the video, I want to keep checking D just to really show that this works. So here's my eight days. I know that L, O, and L are forced. And we're going to put M on day four. So what's going to happen in this case? We need to put H before an M. So if we do something like this, we're going to run into a problem. Are we going to run into a problem? If we do something like JG, Uh, whatever's in five has to be in one. So we actually can't put M and H there. And Macbeth is on day four. So we can't put H in day five because that puts them to day one and then we can't put J before it. But we can put H here, which means we're going to have to put J at this point. And now we have to put two more things in there, but J is in here, G has to fit. So yeah, Ghost is on day six. So. Those were all of our problems. This was definitely a slower run through of these questions, but let's check to see our solution. So this is question 18 through 23 in section three. So uh, 18 is A, 19 is D, 20 is B, 21 is C, 22 is E, and 23 is A. So we got all of those questions done. Um, of course, if you're doing this, you should take uh, quite a significant shorter amount of time to do that. The, the whole section itself only gives you like how much time? 35 minutes. That was about an 18 minute problem solve. The fourth questions are usually the harder ones uh, compared to the rest in the section. Of course, if you talk while you do it, it does take a little bit longer. But these are the general strategies that I use to go through these problems. I think they're quite fun. So if you have any questions, you can ask below in the comments, and hopefully I can respond to you.